Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out how to calculate the mechanical advantage of a lever. And at first, I will use calculate the mechanical advantage using output and input force, and then one more specifically for the lever. Okay, let's get started. It says a mechanic applies an input force of 30 newtons on a lever, and it produces an output force of 90 newtons. What's the mechanical advantage of the lever? So let's go ahead and we'll draw a lever. We have the fulcrum here, okay, and we have an input force of 30 newtons, okay, and an output of 90 newtons, and we want the MA mechanical advantage, okay? So basically all we do is we just take the output force, Divide it by the input force, and that gives us the MA, mechanical advantage. Notice that the Newtons will cancel. Cancel 90 divided by 3 is, excuse me, 90 divided by 30 is 3. So the mechanical advantage is 3. Let's look at another example. Okay, with this example, this question, it says, How much force needs to be applied to a lever with a mechanical advantage of 4? to lift a 1,200 Newton object. Okay, remember, mechanical advantage equals output force over input. Okay, so let's look at this. We have a lever, and we want to know what the input is, how much effort you have to apply, so we'll call that X. And we need an output of 1,200 Newtons, and we have a mechanical advantage of 4. So, let's just plug in what we have, okay? We know that the MA is 4. Uh, we do not know where the output is 1,200 newtons. And we don't know what input. We don't know how much effort we need to apply. We can place 4 over 1 and then cross multiply. So, that gives us 4X equals 1,200 newtons. We're going to divide through by 4, okay? These cancel, so x is going to equal 1,200 divided by 4 is 300, and remember your unit of measure, which is newtons. So there we go. So we have to apply 300 newtons here with a mechanical advantage of 4 to lift an object 1,200 newtons. Okay, let's work one more. With a lever, you can also calculate the mechanical advantage using the length of the effort arm divided by the length of the load arm, okay? So it says, what is the mechanical advantage of a lever with an effort arm of 180 centimeters and a load arm of 60 centimeters? Well, if we have our fulcrum, excuse me, our lever here, and the effort is applied here, the length of this is the effort arm, and the length here is the load arm, okay? So in this, let's just see what we have. We have a mechanical advantage equals the effort arm is 180 centimeters and the load arm is 60 centimeters, okay? Centimeters will cancel and 180 divided by 60 equals 3. So the mechanical advantage equals 3. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.